What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner. Now, we've been hearing lately that some people have been arrested for tampering with the voting process coming into uh, the 2018 November elections. But according to the liberal media, this is ridiculous to think that people could tamper with the voting process. This is crazy. But isn't it funny how they wanted to say that somehow the Russians hacked our democracy uh, and yet when Trump wanted to, you know, put together a team to check out all of the, the voting processes in the states and, and get into the books, they were like, mm -mm, mm -mm, we don't need that. No, but yet you're so uh, scared about the integrity of our voting process. Huh? See, you know what it is? The Democrats like it to be very loose. They don't like strict laws and procedures. They like everything kind of loose, a gray area so they can kind of play around in it. You know what I'm saying? They don't want just black and white. Everything's kind of in the gray area. It's kind of like, you know, with the immigration policies. We, I mean, we're not against border control, but we're not for it. It just depends. Depends on the situation. It depends, see? Uh, it's never, no, that's illegal. We don't want to call them illegal aliens. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're undocumented citizens. That's what they are. See, they like the gray area. They don't like to just straight up lay it down black and white. So with the voter... Uh, ID process. What they have been doing, and I'm so sick of this, and every black minority person needs to speak up about it, is they don't want voter IDs for people to vote. You know, now I've been hearing they've been registering people, filling in bubbles for them, you know, uh, dead people still on the books. I don't trust the Democrats, period. I hate to tell y'all that, Maybe it's a surprise. Maybe this is your first time to my channel. I'd like to take this opportunity to state my position. I don't trust the Democrats. Sorry, you know, call me whatever, but I just don't trust them. I always think they're up to something. Yeah, it gives me the willies. Anyway, they want to use this argument that they don't want voter IDs because it, it's, it's discrimination against, you know, people who, who can't get to the polls or people who, who don't have an ID and they try to use black people as their excuse to have a weak, flimsy voter process so they can fix the books if need be. And I'm sick of it because you know what that does? It enables black people. Not only that, it makes us look bad. How are you going to sit back and say, well, we have to do this because of the poor black people who can't get to uh, the, the ID office and just simply get an ID? So what do you expect? You, you think that black people are not resourceful? We're the most resourceful people in America. You know what? How do you think you got so many parts of the pig? How do you think you, when we were slaves, we utilized every bit of that pig? We'd like, baby, look, master done took the main fat part. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat these ears. We're gonna eat these the snout. We're gonna eat the feet. You know, matter of fact, give me them guts. We're gonna make some chitlins out of it. We are resourceful. Do you know that growing up, I didn't have bubble, Mr. Bubble? You know what I had? I had liquid detergent, dishwashing detergent. That was my Mr. Bubble. You gotta be kidding me when you say black people can't get down to the post. Hey, I'm telling you right now, I grew up in an area where black people we're on food stamps, broke, but we'll find a way to get to a party, find a way to kick it, find a way to buy some new shoes, all these things. And you're saying that we can't get down there and get a voter ID. Now, here's the bigger issue is whether they have the motivation to do it. I mean, I just was listening the other day and somebody asked somebody, you want to register to vote? Nah, man, I'm good. So that's a whole nother problem. But as far as going down to the, the, the BMV or whatever, and getting a ID. You're telling me that we can't do that? Or could it be that you want to make that flimsy and gray area because there's other people who might be voting and you don't want them to have to show an ID because maybe they're not just an American citizen? Could that be it? Uh, kind of like how, you know, you don't really want to plug the leak on the borders because of humanitarian issues, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what it is. Or perhaps it's so that these people could come in and one day fall into your voter base and not have to show proof of being a citizen? I'm just wondering. I'm just brainstorming. That's all I'm doing. I'm just brainstorming. Because I know from a black man's perspective and growing up around black people, it ain't because of us. So 
Please don't speak for us. I'm sure if this was a major problem in the black community, we would be going, excuse me, excuse me. We can't get down there to get IDs and we all want to vote. So please, could you hook us up or, you know, or how about this, just squash ID requirements so that we can come in and vote because we're just, we just can't get down there. You know what I'm saying? We get to the store, we get to the mall, we get to parties, we get to the family, we go to school, we do all these things, but we somehow can't get down there to get a voter ID. And all the Democratic Party is doing is using us, speaking on our behalf and empowering other black Democrats to echo this stuff. We got to look out for uh, the minorities and, and, and disenfranchised people who can't get there and, and get an ID. What about them? I'm like, you're ridiculous. I saw a, a documentary or at least a clip on YouTube where this white guy went into the, the college campus and he was asking mostly Caucasian and some other races too of, uh, of the college students, why do you think that they don't require voter IDs. And every one of them said, so black people can't get, uh, can get to the poll and vote and not have to worry about an ID. And he was like, so you don't think that African-Americans, you know, can get IDs? Well, some of them can't, some of them can't get down there and, you know, maybe they don't have the money, maybe they don't have the resources. Then he went to a black neighborhood and he asked all the black people, do you think it's impossible for y'all to get an ID to get down to the voter poll? All of them were like, are you kidding me? Hey, I got an ID, why wouldn't we be able to get an ID? That is ridiculous. You're going to sit back and tell us we can't get an ID. He went to a whole bunch of black people and all of them was like, come on, man, we, can, we have IDs. So don't be using us demo rats so that you can continue to operate in the gray area. You know, we like, we know you like that the gray area, you know, is, you know, you don't like facts. You don't like, you know, black and white, you know, like things like rules, constitution, laws all those things are pesky things that stand your way so you want to you know, move that stuff out the way so we can push our agenda and kind of you know be flexible and whenever we got to expand we expand mm -hmm. and then when we got to tighten it we'll tighten it when it comes down to saying you know what we want laws and procedures followed because it's the republicans we're dealing with but when it comes to us yeah, let's expand it kind of like brings me to my last point cory booker hmm well, y'all, it appears that Spartacus is in hot water. Now, we ain't heard nothing from Spartacus. Now, let me go ahead and say this. I am not a fan of people making accusations and not being able to back them up or prove them. That's, that's not what we're about. See, uh, the Republicans believe in law and order, meaning you are innocent until proven guilty, but not the Democrats. And one of the most vocal people about it was Cory, Cory Booker, Spartacus himself. I believe, I believe her. I do, I believe. It, this, this is just all of that stuff. And now somebody has accused him, a man, of, uh, I guess, sexual harassment in the restaurant. Maybe Corey said some things that, you know, made him feel a little uncomfortable. So nowadays, see, it ain't gotta be real facts or proof. It ain't gotta be like, this person grabbed me and threw me down. It could just be a comment or a compliment. And if that makes somebody just feel uncomfortable, all of a sudden you're in hot water. So this man in the bathroom said that Cory Booker said a couple things, made him feel a little uncomfortable and um, wrote out this letter. And, and check this out, anonymous too. See, remember they didn't want, you know, uh, Dr. Ford to have to come forward. I guess, you know, you could just take somebody's word. They forced her to come out. You know, but nonetheless, I guess the Democrats operate like, you know what, just we're going to take this person's word. Person ain't got to come out and, 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 and say anything. We just hearing it hearsay, but we believe it. And so now we're in a situation you see the dog of color and the dog. Of, they're working together, y'all. See, they're not into identity politics. They're working together as a team. Anyway, um, but yeah, now the shoe's on the other foot and I want to see how he's going to handle it. Not because I want to see him found guilty or his career ruined and all of that stuff. If anything, I want to see his career ruined because he has horrible policies and I want to see him voted out, but not because somebody just accused him and all of a sudden everybody, he's guilty. That's the job of the Democrats. That's the operation that they operate under. See, we don't do that, but it is going to be funny to see how he wiggle off that hook after he was so judgmental when it came down to Brett Kavanaugh. So I'll keep you informed. Anyway, find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter. Check me out Wednesday nights at 7.30, Kevin Corner, live radio blog talk show. There's a link in the bottom. Um, also, 
check out my sponsor, Extreme Tees. I'm thinking I might even get the dogs an Extreme T shirt. See, they ain't told me if they make paraphernalia for dogs or pets. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that. Anyway, so check out uh, my, my sponsor. And also, if you wanna donate to Kevin's Corner, there's links in the bottom to do that as well. God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.